I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We'll take up two trigonometric identities in this particular video. The first one is show that tan square x minus 1 over cos square x equals to minus 1. Question 2 is show that square root of 1 minus sin x over 1 plus sin x equals to secant x minus tan x. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's answer question number one here. We need to show that tan square x minus 1 over cos square x is equal to minus 1. Now a couple of things we should remember to solve this. One is what is tan x equals to? Tan x equals to sin x over cos x, correct? Second thing, we also know that sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1, right? So, uh, we could use this identity to prove what we need to prove. So, first step here is to write tan as ratio of sine and cosine. So, let's begin with the left side. So, left side becomes sin x over cos x whole square minus 1 over cos x, right? Cos square x. Now, sin x over cos x whole square is sin square x over cos square x. You could have written this directly, minus 1 over cos square x. Now, cos square x is a common denominator. So, let's take that as the common denominator. We get cos square x numerator is sine square x minus 1. Now in this equation which is a Pythagorean identity let's rearrange. So if you rearrange what do you get? Sine square x minus 1 is equal to what? Well let's bring this one here so we get sine square x minus 1 is cos square x. So we'll use this right here so I'm going to replace, I mean, minus cos square x. We're bringing this on that side and 1 to this side, correct? So we're going to replace the numerator by minus cos square x, correct? The denominator here is cos square x. Now cos x, cos x cancel and we are left with minus 1. Is that clear? Do you see that part? So that is how we can actually prove this particular identity. Now the question provided to me had plus 1 here so that was an error and probably that is why the student needs to help, want help on this, right? The question was incorrect. I wrote minus 1 and solved. Okay, now let's go to question number 2. Question number 2. Show that square root of 1 minus sine x divided by 1 plus sine x is equal to secant x minus tan x. Now in such questions, the strategy is to rationalize. So we are going to multiply by conjugate of denominator, right? So what we are going to do here is that we are going to multiply by 1 minus sin x square root over square root of 1 minus sin x. Now this is equal to 1, right? So Multiplying by 1 will never change the equation. You can always do so. And it really helps to solve such questions, right? So let's begin with left side. You could actually start with any side, but in this case, it's better to start with left side. It's much simpler. We could actually write this as square root of 1 minus sine x over square root of 1 plus sine x. As I said, let us rationalize, right? So, so we could write this as 1 minus sine x square root divided by 1 plus sine x square root times square root of 1 minus sine x. Now, this is conjugate of denominator. So, when you do that, what happens? This becomes a perfect square, so we get 1 minus sine x in the numerator and in the denominator, 
we get square root of difference of square, right? So we get 1 minus sine squared x. Why do you get that? Since we know that this is like a plus b times a minus b, right? So we have a plus b times a minus b, that is a square minus b square. In this case, 1 is a and sine x is b, right? Now the numerator is 1 minus sine x. What is denominator equal to? Well, that reminds me of one more identity, which is sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. So what is 1 minus sine square x? So from here, you can clearly see that 1 minus sine square x is equal to cos square x, correct? So taking this on the right side gives us 1 minus sine square x, which is cos square x. So in the denominator, we have cos square x square root. So that means we could write this as 1 minus sine x over cos x or 1 over cos x minus sine x over cos x. Do you see the result? 1 over cos x is secant x. And sine x over cos x is tan x. So what we get is the right hand side. So that is how you're going to prove. So we have shown that left side is equal to right side, right? So left side equals to right side. And that is the whole idea. That is how you're going to solve this question. I hope that helps. It is a very important question from test point of view. Try to practice similar questions. You can change instead of sine right cos different identities, correct? And you'll get practice on this. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.